As an entertainment company, art and culture is a very important aspect of what we do. Bringing people to the city for just more than the hotel room or for gambling, there's so much more to offer. So we're very proud to have a collection to do various art initiatives, to have a partnership with Art Basel, and really take our collection out into the public. That's what it's really meant to do. City Center opened in 2009 with a $40 million collection. The point of this collection was really to have everything on view for the public, almost like a walking museum. So as you're walking amongst the hotels, the shops, the various restaurants, you can come upon a public art installation, almost as if you didn't know it was there, and then have an interaction with somebody that's next to you that maybe you don't know. As you're both looking at this incredible artwork, maybe you know it's an artwork or you just happen upon it because it's something that catches your eye. We're really interested in people having these experiences. And as city center works were being selected, that was something that was very important. Not only about the place and specific area that it was in, but how would these um, artworks interact with the public. We've recently installed a installation by Enrique Oliveira, a Brazilian sculptor. And I had this idea for a while of something that's like a giant root, as if you could be, see a tree from the underground. I decided to work just with the, the, the wood color as it is, and um, combining what was a material brought from Brazil, and which is part of my sculpture, and what is like natural uh, wood found in Las Vegas area. I think the piece, you can remind people where Las Vegas is. Around Las Vegas is a lot of natural places which are very beautiful. And most people stay just in the city, they don't realize what is around them. So that's one of my favorite pieces, as well as uh, Nancy Rubin's Big Edge. This piece is so fantastic as it's comprised of hundreds of different types of boats, canoe boats, row boats, all found objects. But it's kind of cantilevered out over the edge of the driveway and you, so you can see it on the street when you come down from below. There were site-specific installations done at City Center as well as pieces that already existed, such as the Henry Moore sculpture as well as the Frank Stella painting behind the front desk at Vidara. Both of these works were incredible finds and, and beautiful additions to the collection. The Frank Stella painting, Damascus Gate Variation 1, it's incredible colors that just are vibrant and popping off the wall. Um, even, you know, 30, 40, 50 years later. There's so much to see and do when you come to Las Vegas or to any one of our resorts. So it's really incredible to have a collection that people can access and people can see. You have these beautiful paintings, works on paper or, or sculptures that just add a little bit more depth into our property and into our resorts that we have here in Las Vegas in other parts of the world too. Our regional properties have these collections there. It's very important to us to have these, just to add that enrichment, that little something extra that we have to offer for you than maybe some other resorts in town. <laughs>